Hey guys, how are you doing? Well, as you could tell from the tone of my voice, I'm not really in a happy mood right now. And uh, I just looked up on my keys and I just saw something that really hurts me and it, it's just really sad right now. My Vicolaria Versicolor, the Antilles Pink Toe. Tetra, right now, she's a five inch female, has uh, just passed away. <sighs> Yeah, so this is her, so unfortunately I'm handling her because um, well, she passed away. And just a couple days ago, she was doing all well. I had her for about three years. I got her as a three inch female. I do have a very old video on my uh, account where I played the uh, Fire Own Woods from Zelda Twilight Princess music in the background. That was the first day I got it in 2006. Seven, I believe now three years later uh, she passed away I'll give you an idea of how uh, whoops the size of it uh, I can tell this stretch her out and there I capped her off of, of being four and a half inches and uh, <sighs> really sad day you can see the admin, not quite shriveled up yet. And it hurts, it hurts because I had this one for quite a long time and uh, it's just sad to see her go. So rest in peace Tetra, you will be missed. And I guess before I let you go, I could just uh, prove to you that uh, she was a female. So if you see uh, the eventual shot in the abdomen, <clears throat> the epigastric furrow or the spermatiche, right where I'm pointing at. Only mature females have this. Alright, so we're going to flip her over and I'll uh, show you the sex of it. Well, if you see where I'm pointing at, right about here. This is your epigastric furrow, or your sperm sac, which is uh, a confirmed female. Don't know how she died. Uh, I have some reasons that could be due to old age, because uh, she was an old female. And I uh, don't know what's that on her fangs. I don't think it's a nematode infection, or any infection of the sort. But you know, it's really sad, you know, because uh, Avix are really uh, cute um, teeth, but you saw in the video of uh, Lita, and uh, it's so sad that Tetra had to go because it's really hard to find a uh, big versicolor for sale on the uh, tea hobby here in Canada. So no matter, I'll see if I could try to find one. If not, then uh, <laughs> who knows. All right, so that's my video. Rest in peace, Tetra. You are surely been missed. Oh, and by the way, I would like to somehow preserve her body because um, this is one of the personal favorite Avix of mine. So uh, I don't know what to do as far as uh, preserving the body goes. I'm pretty sure I might have to put it in alcohol, but I don't really like to. want to put it, maybe dry her out somehow. So any insight would be great and uh, be highly appreciated. Alright guys, that's it. So, uh, see you guys.